What is your favorite kind of chocolate? Do you like chocolate candy bars? M&Ms? Hot cocoa? Have you ever wondered where it comes from? Does it just grow on trees? Almost. Chocolate comes from cocoa beans, which grow in pods on cocoa trees. The first cultures to consume cocoa were the Aztecs and Mayans as early as 200 BC. The Aztecs and Mayans were native cultures in what today is Mexico and Central America. Cocoa beans were treated like money. For example, four beans could be traded for a pumpkin and ten beans could be traded for one rabbit. The Aztecs and Mayans mixed cocoa beans, chili peppers, and water to make a bitter drink. They poured the drink from cup to cup in order to make it frothy. The cocoa drink was used in religious ceremonies. When a Spanish soldier named Hernán Cortés met the Aztecs, the Aztecs he thought he was a god and served him the cocoa drink. Cortés did not like the bitter cocoa drink and he called it a better drink for pigs. Cortez brought cocoa beans back to Spain, where the Spanish made their own drink by mixing ground cocoa beans with cinnamon, spices, and sugar to make it taste better. They formed this paste into a ball or wafer with their hands and poured hot water over it to make hot cocoa. They made it frothy by mixing it with a wooden stick called a molinillo. In Spain, only the rich and nobility could afford the chocolate drink. They believed the drink was nutritious and healthy. Travelers helped bring hot chocolate to other countries like England and France. In England, adults could go to coffee houses and order coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. At first, cocoa was ground by hand, which made it very expensive. Only rich people like kings and queens could afford it. Eventually, inventors built machines that made cocoa easier to grind, such as the steam mill. A Dutch scientist named Johannes van Houten invented a machine called a hydraulic press. The machine removed some of the cocoa butter from cocoa beans, so the beans could be ground to a dry powder. He also added salt to the powder to make it mix better with hot water. Now, the hot chocolate was thinner and darker. Factories could also make cheap powdered chocolate, and everyone could buy it. An English chocolate maker named Joseph Fry tried mixing some of the dry cocoa powder with sugar and melted cocoa butter instead of hot water. He put the mixture in a mold and made a solid chocolate bar. This was the first chocolate dolls were eating rather than drinking. One problem with the chocolate was that it was gritty and had lumps in it. To make it smooth, an inventor named Rudolf Lint built a machine called a conching machine. The conching machine used stone rollers to knead liquid chocolate. This made the chocolate smoother and taste better. A man named Milton Hershey visited a fair in Chicago and saw new chocolate making machines. He bought the machines and opened his own chocolate factory. His factory made candies like Hershey's Kisses and Hershey's Bars that we still eat today. Today, you can buy so many different kinds of chocolate when you go to the store. You can buy milk chocolate or white chocolate, chocolate filled with caramel or marshmallow, chocolate for baking, drinking, or eating. Just like scientists and inventors helped make chocolate bars out of cocoa beans, food scientists today make new and better kinds of chocolate. Maybe you will use science to make a new kind of chocolate. What would you make?